Okay, we are welcoming May the 1st. This month, so many good things happen. It's Mother's Day, Armed Forces Day. It's the last month of school for so many kiddos. So let's jump to a good start. And it's a gorgeous week ahead, which means it's time to break out the grilling set and head outside to enjoy the weather. We have Danny out live this morning at Lombardi Brothers Meats to help us get ready for grilling season. Danny, where exactly are you and what's happening there? <laughs> Good morning, Claudia. We are here, like you said, at Lombardi Brothers Meats to talk all about grilling today. And my goodness, we are back here in the dry aging room and there is so much to show you. So, of course, to bring it in here, I'm going to go ahead and have Derek Figueroa come in. You might recognize him from Seattle Fish Company. Yeah, he's all over, guys. Hey, we love it. Hi, Derek. It's Thanks great to see you. Thanks for coming out and Yeah, Appreciate thank you so much. Well, um, our viewers just saw me in steak form yeah. back here. <laughs> <laughs> was it actually you? Your it's steak me. avatar. Yes, my steak avatar, yes. Um, but this is the dry aging room, and it's so impressive to see exactly what goes into dry aging our meats. This is something that a lot of us will order at a restaurant, of course, but don't really know what's happening behind the scenes. So walk us through it. Yeah, dry aging is a really cool way to sort of treat meat to elevate uh, both tenderness and also flavor. So if you think about a traditional meat or any sort of a, a steak, it's going to come in uh, like a subprimal. So that's what these are. Uh, typically, you know, maybe the steaks you get at a restaurant might be, I don't know, uh, five days old, right? Okay. At, at Lombardi Brothers, we're not going to sell anything that's not um, 21 days or wow. dry age. So that's yeah. or wet age. So there's a process where typically the meat that you get in a restaurant has been in a, a vacuum pack. They call it a wet age. Okay. So it's something that keeps inside that vacuum pack. And what happens over that 21 day period is the natural enzymes help to uh, tenderize the steak by breaking down the connection of tissue. Wow. So that's wet aging, but dry aging is complete art form. Okay. And that's where, you know, the, the folks here at Lombardi Brothers have really uh, perfected it. Yeah. So what happens, and your Danny short loin <laughs> had looked similar to the meat that we had just looked at, yeah. is typically we'll take this back out, we'll expose it to this room, and the room is really a very controlled environment. Yeah. So we have lots of, we control the temperature. It needs to be about 34 to 39 degrees. We're going to control the humidity, very important, from 20 to 71 to 74. Sure. and a lot of air circulation throughout wow. there. This is so cool. Okay, so I want to talk lot. quickly too. Yeah, well, but Sorry. There, I mean, it's great though. I mean, the cool thing too is that you guys, if you if you look up here, we have wood in this room, which I know is something that, you know, you don't really see often anymore, but this building has been around for so long, right, that this wood is changing the taste of the meat a little bit. Is that it, right? It really is. It's very wow. much like sort of the, maybe an oak casket wow. or maybe sort of a cork and that imparts the flavor inside the wine. So this is an old building that was used for harvesting and processing yeah. and they had these wood beams that were carrying sort of the um, sort of the conveyance for the carcasses cool. but that's really a season and it gives imparts so much flavor wow. into the steaks it's so impressive well I am really impressed by what you guys are doing here this is all really really amazing uh, quickly too in the last 30 seconds I gotta ask about this guy because this guy looks a lot different than this one what's what do you make here yeah so it's gonna be sort of a flank steak cool. typically when you dry as a product what you're doing is you're releasing a lot of the moisture so the moisture evaporates from the muscle, concentrates the flavor. It provides a little bit of a bark over the top of it, and that allows those natural enzymes to break it down. So, uh, you know, in the next section, I think we'd love to show you, hey, let's taste one that has not been dry, is one dry, and you can really taste sort of the difference. So these guys are, uh, are heading out, picking up some of that dry aged flavor yeah. uh, and tenderizing. Amazing. Well, Dad, thank you so much. That bark he was talking about too, guys, is going to be cut off later and given to our dogs. That's something that's pretty cool you can do here. All right, everybody. Well, like Derek just said, we're going to be grilling up some of these steaks later and tasting them, tasting the difference between a dry age and maybe one that's a little bit fresher. All right, guys, for now, we are live. Claudia, I'm sending it back to you. I'm sure your mouth is watering. It totally is, Danny. Thank you so much. Welcome back, everybody. All right, we're here live at Lombardi Brothers Meats. And, of course, I'm still here with Derek. And, Derek, we love you, but... We're going to talk to Scott here, okay? Scott's the expert. I'm going to clear <laughs> you're out. You're fine. No, so I'm you're just going to over here and pick up some tips. There you go. Grilling tips myself. Absolutely. Let's go for it. Well, we have Chef Scott here to tell us more about grilling. It is grilling season finally. Okay, Chef, tell us how we're supposed to take the dry age that we just saw and all of those incredible meats in the back and pop them on the grill. Well, um, we're going to season them, grill them off, and then cook them on indirect heat, which is the oven right now. Okay. And then uh, let me just start by doing that. Yeah. And if this is going to happen on a grill at home, the best thing I've found to do is like uh, season it pretty heavy. If you have a thick piece of meat like that, yes. obviously if it's thinner, 
You don't have to worry about it so much. So what kind of meat is this one here that we're seasoning? This is a porterhouse. Okay. It's um, our certified Angus beef, Beautiful. and it's delicious. And no, the porterhouse is great, right? Because it's got a New York strip and the tenderloin. Yeah. Delicious. Okay, so you are doing literally just salt, pepper, and oil, it looks yeah. like, Yeah, right? I mean, you can put whatever you want. You can put spices or garlic or whatever, get nuts with it. But, like, I, I just kind of like the simplicity of, like, this and then add the rest of it later. Well, with an amazing meat like you would get from all of Hardy Brothers meats, uh, you don't need to really season it that much, right? Exactly. <laughs> amazing. All right, let's pop so, that on the grill. Wow. So here's the thing. I want the grill to be hot. Okay. But I don't necessarily I don't necessarily want the flame to be hot. So I know the grill's been on for a while. So I'm gonna turn the flame down a little bit. And I have the luxury of having two. Okay. But point is it's like what I'd like to do is like just put the marks on it and then flip it over, mark it, and then we're gonna throw it on here. This is a half sheet pan, it's got a little elevation, so it has some like it's not directly on some like a heat, like a metal. Sure. So it's okay. not just cooking like mad on one side or some circulation. Okay. And um, if you have a grill at home for the summertime, I would say mark it off on the hot side, put your coals on one side, and just leave it on the side that's, co that's cool. Okay. Throw the lid down and just check it every once in a while and temp it out at like 120, 125, and it'll pull it off and it'll carry over. <clears throat> Temperature. Ooh. Handy dandy meat thermometer. <laughs> We always need to have one of those. Awesome, okay, wonderful. So, and this is what you recommend for a porterhouse, uh, anything kind of thick like this as well? Yeah, I mean, there's a whole bunch of different options you can do. You can like, um, I think we talked a little bit before about sous vide, which is like putting it in a bag yeah. and throwing it in a controlled environment where you just kind of slowly rest it, rest it, rest it, and then you sear it off. That's neat and cool, but for this, most people don't have that, but you can just sear it off, <clears throat> throw it down in your oven. And I do this at a, when it's a thicker, uh -huh. It's uh, about a little less than 350, um, and it takes about 30, 35 minutes. Like, just not every time. I have a really nice oven here, but, like, you know, <laughs> at home I have a 1972 oven, so sure. it's like, and some of us <laughs> do have that, but, like, right. um, <clears throat> let's see, where am I? So, let's see what we oh, have here. Wow. We got some marks. We're going to flip it. it. Well, Scott, we're gonna wrap up here in just a second, but before we do so, I really need to try some of the steak. I'm sorry, guys, you know me. I have to eat on the show every time. So the one that we already have cut here is which kind? Dry age. Dry age, all right. Yeah, it's been dried for 30 it's days. Dry age. Yeah, I think uh, we we do have forks, no, but okay, good. I don't know. I don't know you can just that. dig in. All right, let's just dig in. Okay, so this dry is age. the dry age that we did for you, and you can kind of taste it. And this is gonna be the, the one that's not dry age, you can kind of taste the difference, but it should come through a little bit uh, nutty, dry, very, very tender. Uh, with, uh, with the green food. Delicious, guys. Okay, Go I'm gonna talk with my mouth full. I'm being really <laughs> rude here. But um, guys, this is really where you wanna get your steaks. This is so good. So make sure that you visit some of the restaurants around town to get Lombardi Brothers Meats. This is so wonderful. You can do Tavernetta, that's one of our favorites. You can get a couple there at uh, Garden Grace as well. If you get some of those tomahawks, that's where you're gonna get them from right here. And then of course, Denver Chop House. So guys, so delicious. Claudia, I have to send it back to you. I'm so sorry. My mouth is so full and this is so delicious. But Claudia, back to you. I'll bring you back some steak.